You know, it is wild to me, like wildly wild, that I had to pay for text messages on my cell phone in high school. And yet now we just use our phones to do things like film and edit videos. Like that's, <laughs> that's bananas. I've only been out of high school like two years. I don't even know how that's possible. Listen, I don't wanna hear nothing about the fact that I haven't been out of high school for two years, okay? Nothing. Hey y'all, what is up? My name is Jessica. I'm pumped that you're here. And I'm here with a really exciting announcement and introduction. So I told y'all last week that I was gonna start bringing on contributors who knew more about things than I do and who could really help you grow your business and your online brand and all of these things. And today we have our very first special guest on the Hey Jessica channel and her name is also Jessica. This Jessica, Jessica Winter, has been in my communities for years now and is a rock star video editor and podcast editor and video person in general. I have loved watching her blossom and be able to create a business that allows her to do the things she loves. She's worked on TV shows and like all the things. She's freaking amazing. And today she's going to show you the five best apps for editing videos on your phone so that if this is all you've got to edit videos with, you have no excuses. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know pass the mic, if you will, to my girl Jessica and let her take it from here. I hope you will give her a warm welcome. She is freaking amazing and you will see it in this video. Let's go. Hey, so today we're gonna talk about the five best editing apps for your smartphone. And I wanna preface this with saying that you can have the best editing app on the market, but if you don't know how to use it, it won't do jack. So let's get started with number one, which is CapCut. CapCut seems to be the go-to video editing app when it comes to social media, especially when it comes to TikTok because TikTok does own it, which gives you the ability to upload your video straight to the platform with no issues. Most apps that I'm gonna be talking about have the same timeline where you can add filters, text, voiceovers, you name it. But I wanna talk to you a little bit about today of the features that CapCut has that some others don't that really makes it stand out. And one is templates. Now other apps do have that, but CapCut templates I am seeing everywhere right now, all over TikTok, all over Instagram. People make them, you just insert your B-roll and you upload and you have a video. And this can really make you stand out if you know how to execute it for your niche exactly. And they have become so popular. Uh, and they have a whole library as well. So if you don't like ones that you're seeing, you can create some. They have library of template for days. So their templates have been really, really useful. One thing I really enjoy is that they have the sounds from TikTok already in the library. So you don't have to create a video Upload to TikTok, find the sound again. The sound is already there, which is so useful. So they have all the sounds in CapCut already for you. Uh, and then another thing that I really like mentioning sounds um, is they have a copyright area and it's called copyright check. So if you're a business and are worried about using certain music, you can check the music inside the app and see if it's copyrighted or not, which I thought is so cool. And then one of my favorite features is when you upload a video onto the timeline, it has this little box and it says album and you can edit it. Now, this is so useful when it comes to people who have portfolios that wanna show off their videos at like UGC, for example, because what this album cover does is after you create the video, you can select how you want it to look uploaded on your socials, like what you want the image of people to see when they see it. And that is so useful when you can choose the cover photo and not have to go back and adjust it later. So on to the second app and that is Video Leap. I have been using this app forever. I think it's like $2.99 um, a week. Uh, it's like $29 a year, so worth it. The thing I love about this app in particular is that it has some more advanced features that you find in like Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, um, you name it, like those apps, but in a phone app. <laughs> and the one I really enjoy using most is keyframing. So what does this do? So to simplify it, keyframing allows you to have better control of the movements in your video or pictures, and that's pretty much it. 
So if you've ever been in the app and you see a diamond in the right hand corner above your timeline, that's a keyframe. If you press it and then slide down the video a little bit further and press it again, you're able to control your video, but it makes your video look so much more professional and it doesn't give it that Ken Burns style unless if you want it. But, and it also doesn't give it that jump cut style that you see so many people doing to grab your attention. It just looks more professional. And that's why I really, really, really love keyframing. And then another really interesting thing that they just dropped, they have a lot of AI technology going on. And so another really cool feature that they have is facial recognition tracking. And this makes it to where if you wanna add a filter to someone's face, it can track the face throughout the video and add the filter, no problem, and less editing on your end. So easy peasy. The third one I recommend is iMovie. This one is fantastic for beginners. It's free. And if you are one that wants to start being on camera, but just doesn't know what to start, don't know what to film, you name it, iMovie is where you need to start. Because when you open the camera, you have the option of magic movie, storyboard, or movie. I would go to storyboard because you can select like a day in the life and it will lay out like the 16 shots that you need to import. It will start with, you know, a wide shot, close angle, you know, a running shot. Like right here it says intro, medium shot, a teaser, and then a lower third. And a lower third is what you see on the screen um, on like the newscast, stuff that's scrolling across. So it really just tells you exactly what you need to do. It lays it out for you. You just have to import it and then you'll have a day in the life or whatever kind of video you so choose to make and then you can upload it to your social media. So I really recommend that for the beginners. If you want to start making videos, but you just don't know what you need or what you wanna do type thing, try out iMovie. Then my fourth recommendation is for everyone who's really into AI, the app is called Captions. It's very, very AI focused. So if you've ever seen any short form video with the captions that pop up that are super colorful, like pop up on every word, that's from this app captions. But one thing that I really want to point out to you that I haven't really seen on any other app is that one that they have a teleprompter, but one of the features that is really neat is called script. You can import your own script or AI will generate a script for you. Now when AI does this, it does ask for a few prompts and I'm looking at it now, such as do you want it for TikTok or Reels, YouTube, an advertisement, a sales pitch, and then all you have to do is give it a video description a couple keywords, and then let it know what kind of tone of voice you want. Do you want a professional, casual, serious, funny, informative? And then do you want a short, medium, long? And then what language? You go from there, it generates the script, and most of the time it's really good. You can go back and edit it, and once it's to your liking, you take it to teleprompter, and you can record and read straight from the app. And what's really nice about this is there's a lot of people who have a hard time looking directly into the camera. They still like seeing themselves on the screen, right? So if that is you, they have AI for that. You can look on the screen, read the script, and AI will fix it in post-production. You don't have to do anything. It'll fix your eyes. Like you can be looking to the side or looking down at the phone and not directly at the camera when reading the teleprompter, but in post, it will fix your eyes to where it makes it look like you were talking to the camera the whole time, like you weren't reading from the teleprompter at all, which is really cool. I haven't seen any app do that yet. Another really cool feature on this is called AI Shorts. All you have to do is select that, then paste a video URL. For this example, I pasted one from Jessica's YouTube channel. And what it does is it generates four to five different short form videos that you can repurpose to other sites, so whether that's Instagram, TikTok, Shorts, Pinterest, and you can choose whether you like them or not. I chose three different ones that I thought were really good that grabbed my attention downloaded them, it added captions immediately, and you can just go from there. So that's less work on your end when it comes to scrubbing through your video going, okay, what could grab people's attention out of this video in like the 15 seconds I have on the short form platforms. So that's a really fun way to repurpose as well. And tip number five is to edit within the native app. If you don't know what that is, it's just to edit within the Instagram, the TikTok, the Facebook app itself. I know a lot of the features can be lacking and that's why we go over all these other options that I gave you. However, if you do edit within the app, they reward you. They like to push out your content over other content that you've edited outside and uploaded. I know, I know, it sucks, not gonna lie. I prefer editing in like Video Leap or CapCut, but when you use what you are given within that platform, they reward you. So those are some other options 
as well. So let's go over what we learned. We went over CapCut, Video Leap, iMovie, Captions, and then the native app, whichever one you like to edit in. I hope you learned something about this. Let me know in the comments which ones you are using if you are, or if I mentioned one that you think we should check out because I'm willing to check out a new one if I haven't learned about it yet. There are so many fun ones out there. I'm excited to see what app you are using and I hope these tips helped you. Make sure to subscribe to the Hey Jessica's channel so you don't miss out on any videos that will help you grow your online business. See you next time.